I uh, I think we have to start this video off just by saying like, oops, because we took last week off mm -hmm. and that was fine. It was Thanksgiving. We had one right. Thanksgiving day episode where you tried pie. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen the pie video, go back and watch the pie video. I think that uh, we have to say right up front, there was a video yesterday and we had a technical difficulty. Oops. Oopsie. And it didn't come out because we had a technical difficulty. But here we are today. Mm -hmm. We're recording a video. This yeah. isn't going to be a try it video. No, it's not. But it's just going to be a, it's going to be just what it is. It is what it is. We're here to hang out. Yeah. With you guys. Mm hmm so here it is we have a couple of things we wanted to talk about yeah it was uh it was a little uh kerfuffle there you know we yeah. we made a little bit of a blunder a little got mistake. behind it wasn't necessarily our fault no it was not but also at the end of the day i think what really happened is we had thanksgiving day sweats yeah 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 we had the thanksgiving day sweats where it's like just we weren't just we weren't prepared it's like after the holiday yeah, kind of man, too. Yeah, just is like you're a little sleep. You're a little sleep. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. You so, come in, you, you're catching up on a bunch of stuff. For sure. And then you're like, okay, now I'm going to do this thing. And oh, my yeah. head, my head's just somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. We had the thanks that, man, I like that. The yeah. Thanksgiving day sweats. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving day sweats. But we're back <laughs> and we have a video for you today. <laughs> so basically two of the top videos that are out right now, one of them is the new Batman trailer. Another the is new Spider-Man the... trailer. Whoa, wow. dude. I'm struggling. <laughs> Here, the new... I got this. Thanks, man. <laughs> so the one of them is the new Spider-Man trailer that, that dropped a while back, like 12, 13 days ago, uh, almost two weeks ago, but it's still trending. And then uh, Taylor Swift's short film, T -Swizzle. All Too Will, uh, All that came out a while well. back, but it's, it's still trending number one. Number still one. trending number one. Craziness. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. And then... And, and, you had watched half of half of King Richard. King Richard mm -hmm. still watched half the movie kind of docudrama mm -hmm. about Venus and Serena Williams dad mm -hmm. uh, came out and he's what do you think about the half of it that you've seen so far I love it I uh, I find it so intriguing it's fascinating you, where you have a father like I'm a big fan of of golf and so I, lo I love Tiger Woods and so you have a father They're I thought you were gonna similar. say I'm a big fan of fathers yeah as a father I'm a big fan <laughs> of fathers I love the dads you yeah, know yeah. Um, but you have these dads who basically say my son or my daughters are going to be this like LeVar Ball is a perfect example like his sons are currently in the league right now yeah. two of them are in the league one of them is not but um like they he said my sons are going to go to the league right and like manifested this thing and uh he manifests in this the king richard he manifests this in his daughters and it's you know they, they become two of the greatest tennis players of all time but. i just had no idea how absolutely dominant they were right and it was like they are the best right. like yeah. it's they're the mm -hmm. best of the best it's mm -hmm. crazy how it happens and the story is quite literally unbelievable at times yes but it's like wow this happened or this like happened, a version of a this version of this happened, happened and it's it's crazy yeah so i'm wild. excited to finish that movie um and then i think right after i finish that movie i'm gonna watch rewatch the senior serena williams documentary because i, oh, I need that. to see that i've heard um, that's good I need i've to seen watch it before that. but i want to with more knowledge fresh eyes. I, yeah with fresh eyes I, i'm super intrigued by it so yeah i'll be checking that out but the spider-man trailer though yeah so the big question about the multiverse thing is like obviously we know that there are villains coming back from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, right? And the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, correct? Vid we've seen villains in the trailer for both of those. The thing that we have not confirmed is whether or not any of the Spider-Men will be coming for back. Our boy Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Mm -hmm. That would be. Did I say Garfield the first time or Griffith? I think you said Garfield. I would hope you didn't say I Griffith. I think I said Garfield. Andy Griffith. <laughs> Anyway, it, that whether or not epic. he's coming back, that would be pretty cool. There's a lot of speculation out there so about that. Who is your people favorite? People think it's going to happen. Who is your favorite Spider-Man, though? I would say the Spider-Man of my childhood is Tobey Maguire. Same. Um, Obviously. I don't know who my favorite is. I can tell you I really Did like ever, Tom Holland. Obviously. Oh, I'm saying. You, I, I didn't even finish. I didn't. I haven't seen every Andrew Garfield I haven't either. Film. I've seen all the Tom Holland ones, and I've seen, obviously, all the Tobey Maguire ones. But Yeah. Did you ever look to see about that scene where I told you? 
where they were night fight. And you know, I didn't, night. I didn't look. It is a real thing. I promise did you. Did you look not it up? Making a, make, yes, I did. You did look it up. I promise you I'm not making I have, it up. I have a foggy memory of it. Where I really do. The mask. I have a foggy memory of it. Kicked. But I just don't have like a specific. I remember very vividly like the fly whenever he's in the fight at school and he right. sees like slow motion. Right. Like it coming in and right. they like they like portray what is his the spidey sense. Name who plays Mary, Mary Beth, right? What is the? Do you remember her name? The actress in what movie? Tobey Maguire. Like oh, uh, Kristen Dunst. That's her name. Yeah, I yeah I Kristen, remember. Kristen. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So the, I think yeah, for me that Tobey Maguire is probably my he's, favorite. He is the Spider Man of my childhood. He's the so Spider Man of my childhood. That one holds. But I feel close. like Tom Holland is the closest to the comic book version of. I feel like Spider-Man. Tom Holland is the most naturally Spider Man kind of person right. that has been right. sp- like he's the most naturally kind like, of like that Tobey Maguire was like, like he's 28. similar to the character kind of right and like his just personality he was stuff, like old I feel like. Tobey Maguire was low-key old yeah and he was in yeah. high school it, yeah it made me very high uncomfortable school. but to, Tom Holland is different and then Garfield he did a great job honestly you could make the case that the Spider-Mans are the best superhero like that have made multiple movies. Spider-Man is a great like the character. Itself. Spider-Man is a great Batman, superhero. He was definitely my first like I've never liked a superhero. Like right. I am a fan of this superhero. Right. Like I will wear his shirt. I will buy his merch. <laughs> I will wear his shirt. No, I've never done that kind of thing. But like as a kid, I was like, oh, Spider-Man is awesome. Right. But do you get what I'm saying, though? Like. Spider-Man, you see, so you have Tobey Maguire, you have Andrew Garfield, you have Tom Holland. Mm-hmm. None of them flopped. Yeah, it's the closest thing I think Marvel has to like a Batman or well, a Superman. But like, because it's like, but the, like Batman, the actor keeps changing, but it, the character keeps coming back, baby. Right, but some of their their Batmans weren't great. Yeah, but all the all the Spider-Mans have been right. Solid. Some of the uh, and, 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 some of them haven't been amazing, but, right. but they've all been pretty good okay there have been really good ones and fair enough ones we'll, that we'll so go good. with that so i haven't even seen all the andrew garfield ones though you're I, super excited i have about a it. i have a feeling that andrew garfield spider-man might be a little darker than other ones that we've seen just because of the relationships that he has mm-hmm. there's some some uh sadness there i don't know much i haven't seen i've seen the first well, andrew garfield. i won't ruin it then for you i've only seen the first one of him but i won't i won't ruin it for you then thank you but uh yeah, I, I'm excited about that coming out and just f- finding out if they're going to do something kind of different. I think that'd be fun if they they incorporated that All into it. Them. I think it, it really complicates things, but I think it is really fun and entertaining to well, watch. Well, I think it would be it. funny to watch Tom Holland interact with those two. Yeah, definitely. Because I think he's like naturally a funny person. Yeah. And I think writing that script would be pretty fun. Yeah. I because think I do be cool. think it's going to be kind of dark. So I think it's going to be a darker Marvel film. Yeah. And so in terms of like, cause Marvel's typically pretty, you know, upbeat DC yeah. on the other hand is pretty dark. And so yeah. I feel like Marvel has a chance to be kind of dark because obviously we, you know, you watch the trailer, it's like, Oh, bad things are really happening. Yeah. Um, but if they bring them back, I think there's some, some, yeah, no, but I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, and then all too well. Let's yeah. talk about that. I wonder if we have any like big Taylor Swift fans. I don't believe we do. And I feel like I haven't heard anybody been like, I love Taylor Swift. I mean, a lot of people love Taylor Swift well, that you wouldn't expect. That's true. I'm kind of, I, I'm like are a fan. A, are you a sneaky fan? I'm a fan of are you a Taylor hidden, Swift. I'm kind of like a fan a of, of fan? certain stuff that she's done. I wouldn't say like, I'm not the kind of fan where it's like, Everything she puts out, I love. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm not that kind of dedicated okay. fan because, like, with All Too Well, it's not like I know Red is that album is a lot of people's favorite era of Taylor Swift, but it's just not my it's not my favorite. Um, and I know a lot of people love that song All Too Well, but uh, you know, I I'm I'm, I'm I'm I I think there's some great line like lyrics in that song. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, I. uh, There's an idea of like leaving. I think songs and albums sometimes mm -hmm. are like a time capsule. Mm -hmm. And it's like that is done now. Mm -hmm. And that encompasses that time period. Mm -hmm. And a part of me wonders now that you have like explained to me, you've explained to me at this point that 
the reason which she re-released it was to get the master. Yeah, she can um, own. She owns those. And so now, a part yeah. of me was like, for her fans, I believe potentially why she did this short film was so that she could. It wasn't just her, you know. It she could add something else to. Yeah. The song to exactly, the album. Yeah. That it wasn't, you know, because I mean. Well, and all too short film. She yeah. had said that all too well. She left a lot on the cutting room floor, okay. Of that song, that like there was a there were a ton of parts of that, a, a lot of that song that she had to cut. Like she cut like fifty percent of it because mm-hmm. it's ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Her version, the other version is probably like pop song mm-hmm. length, like mm-hmm. three to four minutes or something. So over fifty percent she cut. Which I think for the diehard fans, of course, you would want to hear those verses that she cut out. Right. Um, but for me, like the film and everything, I just, it feels like I'm just too old now. <laughs> like some of the, some of the offenses that right. are taken up. Right, right, right. It's just we don't like, want to get too into it, but oh, yeah, man. I just can't, students, I just can't go there mentally. Students, if you've seen, if you've seen it. And if you dig it, more power to you. And I mean, you want to talk to us about it, you should meet us and we'll talk to you about it. Yeah. But we yeah. don't want to, we don't want to rip into our, our Swifties too hard. Right no, now. Well, because we like Swifties. Yeah, we I like, like Taylor Swift. I, I like the some thing. of her I like songs. I can't say that I've heard like a majority of them. I've heard, you know, probably I would give a safe, I've probably li- given two to three, I've heard two to three songs from probably every album she's ever put out. Yeah. Um, And like the main ones, you know. Yeah, there so, are. I mean, she I'm has like some good songs. 1989, I think, is close to an absolutely perfect album. Mm, that's and a I, that's a big statement. I th- it's very, very good. Like it's in, it's an incredible album, in my opinion. One of, is, so, question for you: Is Taylor Swift a songbird of our generation? Mm. If there was a Mount Rushmore, I'll give you that. If there is a Mount Rushmore, it depends very much on what you're talking about. Are you talking about popularity and exposure? Or are you talking about so like I quality say, and consistency? I'm saying I'm I'm keeping it very broad. So the Mount Rushmore of artists of our generation is Taylor Swift on the list. I think that's yet to be determined. Really? She has to put out more? She has to go through the Because I would not put her on there. She has to go through what she's going through now. And we have to see. <laughs> see how it unfolds yeah well because like for for instance i think that you have to become unpopular and then keep putting out music and then it's like Mm -hmm. what does your music do after that Mm -hmm. for instance john mayer yeah i would put him on there it's he has morphed now Mm -hmm. completely away from like he's very popular right but he is not like he's not winning Grammys. Like he's mm-hmm. not like the, in this category of popular artist, he's almost morphed into this very popular, like artists mm-hmm. artist where it's, it's a different, it's right. a whole different thing. Right. And like he's making music that he wants to hear to a certain extent mm-hmm. and people are coming along for the ride, which I think is just an amazing place to be. So it's like, I think you have to find your niche. That's okay. kind of his niche. And, um, and he's like thriving in that area mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I think Taylor Swift still has, you know, a long way to go. I, I mean, in, in her career, like Fair. she still has a lot of career left mm-hmm. cause like she will be playing music from now until, you know, she dies. Like, right. like it's lifelong. Right. And that's yeah, like that's, she's that's important. She still hear. has a long way to go. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of music left to make, and her album, her best album ever, could still be on the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, take everything that we've heard, you know, culminate it, mm-hmm. and and then her next thing could be the greatest thing she ever does, and that's uh, that's you know, cool. that's awesome. I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to it. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I, I think as far as the Mount Rushmore goes, it's hard to say because she's still our age. And would you say that you're done in your life? Of you know? our generation, though. Like, of our generation of, like, our age group. So you are technically millennial. I am more of the... Sure. This generation. But 
I feel like there are a few, like obviously. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm not putting anyone on the Mount Rushmore that's 30. But there are our generation, like what people you've grown up listening to that are, that you've grown up with, like a Tway, Taylor Swift, a Justin I, Bieber. Maybe I'm holding the Mount Rushmore too high in regard. I would say that you are. Okay, because I'm thinking like Foo Fighters. Fair. Like right. John Mayer. John Mayer, but that like, Foo Fighters wouldn't be the same. Like John Mayer, you've kind of grown up with John Mayer. Foo Fighters, you grew up with them. You grew up with them because you listened to them, not because. I'm thinking people that came up in the 80s and 90s that were 10 years older than me. Right. That like, right. They like they're older now mm -hmm. than I am. Mm -hmm. And it's like well established mm -hmm. that like they're still making music. They've morphed now into something else. Fair. And I get what you're saying. Yeah, okay. where it's like Taylor Swift is always going to be fan, like always mm -hmm. going to be like it's reached a level like she's reached the highest of the highest level. Right. Well, it's like of Drake. like popularity. It's like Drake. Yeah. Where it's like now you kind of have to morph mm -hmm. to a certain extent mm -hmm. and, you know, see what happens. It, well, Kanye is a perfect mm -hmm. example of that, too. Mm -hmm. Like he reached the highest of the highest level of popularity and fame mm -hmm. and exposure. Mm -hmm. And then he morphed mm -hmm. and Big people time. still went along with it. Right. And so it's that yeah. idea of how are you going to morph and mm -hmm. what's it going to sure. be? For sure. I don't know. I'm I looking forward to it. I, I'm interested to see kind of, yeah, how the rest of her career unfolds. That's the, that's the most difficult part, I think, of being at the highest level mm -hmm. is, you know, you, you, once you've reached that peak, what are you going to do then? Like, mm -hmm. what's next? What are you going to do now? Right. So, yeah, yeah. interesting. It really sure. interesting. But yeah, I look forward to this stuff that she does. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do, uh, are we going to do rapid fire facts or are we going to do just uh, one? Students want to hear facts about me, apparently. Facts about you. So I don't want to just start telling facts about myself. So if you could, yeah. if you want to ask I've got questions. a fact, I think about early Trey. Okay. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this. You speak so much and you talk about yourself like in your like sermons and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that I feel like it's going to be kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. to come out with facts that people don't already know. Yeah, I'm pretty open. But I think that a great fact about you is that you did not uh you did not go to Christian college right away. Mm -hmm. That that was something that you had to like find along mm -hmm. your path. Yeah, make a drastic uh, decision. So he went, yeah, Trey just went to a regular state school mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. and then throughout the like the year, year and a half that he was going to that school realized I think my calling is somewhere else. I want to do something different, which I think is a really, really interesting thing because right. I think the choice becomes way more difficult to change schools and like take right. that different route. Right. Once you're in another a, a situation. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I always have a uh, great respect for the, the, the switch up and the change and the decision. I yeah. think it says a lot about your decisiveness and your yeah. like ability to make choices and stick to them and, and see a vision for the path that you want to be on and, and go after it. So I think that's an interesting fact. That is a good fact. About I think it. that's a, that is one of the craziest years of my life. Yeah. So that would be crazy. Yep. But that's good. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in once again. Yeah. We are sorry it's Tuesday and this is the first you're seeing of sorry us. Sorry for the mess up. Sorry we're not getting a try but it you this know, week. You know, those Thanksgiving sweats, you know? Yeah. They're hard. Hey, there's always next week. There's always next week. <laughs> we'll get it back together. Yeah. We'll see you later and don't wrestle your neighbor. Bye. Bye. Bye.